morning but on a mission a metro family says their teenage daughter had a true servant's heart before she was killed in a car crash years ago now they're honoring her legacy by giving back to the community news 9's addie crawford has the story 16 year old yukon high school student grace roark died six years ago in a tragic car accident after her passing grace's parents started volunteering at sisu youth services to keep grace's servant heart alive now the nonprofit is honoring Grace's legacy in a special way. Always just had the caring heart. Living her name to the very fullest. For Grace, because she was God's gift to us. <laughs> but she made it her mission to include everyone. At such a young age, Grace did everything she could to help others. And after she passed away, we heard all kinds of stories. We heard, um, you know, Grace used to buy my student lunch whenever she couldn't afford it. Found out she was spending all of her money on other people. And that's just kind of what she did. After months of mourning, Grace's parents started carrying on her legacy at Sisu Youth Services, a metro nonprofit that helps unhoused teens as they become adults. Her first meal that we brought down was on Christmas, I think. It was Christmas of 2017. And then we've brought food every ever since. Prompting Sisu to name its brand new kitchen being built after Grace. Because we are going to lay this foundation for Sisu into the future, we wanted to make sure that the Roark family uh, was at the center of that. Both Sisu and the Roark family need your help to build and fill Grace's kitchen. We are going to use that money to construct this facility and make sure that the kitchen is equipped with everything that it needs. It's hard to fathom that our child is going to be memorialized and remembered and just that her work is going to continue to go on through the hands of other people. Construction is set to wrap up at the end of this year, and CSU will open its new doors at the start of next year. Now, if you are interested in donating to Grace's Kitchen, you can visit our website or our app on the links mentioned page, or this story is also posted as well. Maddie Crawford for Oklahoma Zone, News 9.